What's up ladies and gentlemen, King's Reaper here and welcome back to another episode of Escape from Tarkov playthrough. This episode we still pursue the same questline, which is the Punisher. And we started off this raid on customs we for a warm-up round, so to speak. And then I would quickly switch back to SVD and push those Punisher Part 6 quests, which was kill BMCs with SVD. And as I was coming to the road crossing, somebody was already here. Two bullets and the guy goes down. Thank Lord for that. Now I waited just to see if he had a friend somewhere near here, but obviously he was solo, nobody else was here. So I gladly picked up all the gear that he had for me. And just a few moments later, I heard somebody else moving around here. And it was obviously a squad. A squad of three guys. I obviously did damage those guys quite a bit, but it was unfortunately not enough. So after waiting to see if those guys are gonna come back, push back, I found this random body just laying around here. and. This dude was quite geared, so I don't know who killed him, or how, or from where, but hey, it was a free SVD, no, SKS, sorry, some other random gear, and hey, I was good with that raid. So after having some small PvP fights, I pushed for the extract, which meant it was time to go into another raid. For this raid, I decided to go shoreline. Oh, actually, I changed my mind. We went customs with our scav. Because these days, scavs are really good for making money. So I went in with my scav and I spawned again in the far corner of the map. I started pushing across because I wanted to check dorms for dead bodies. But unfortunately, it didn't go as, pl as planned. So there was that dude behind me, sneaking around, started shooting at me. So, yeah, the only thing I could have do, I could have done right now, was to retaliate. I had a big ass AK with no stock, which means this gun was not gonna be shot in full automatic mode, cause yeah, it kicks too much. And of course, there had to be somebody else here. A lucky headshot and I killed that guy. That was very close. But Luckily, we had also the survival kit, so I was pretty much able to patch every wound, but the problem was I had no healing items, which only meant I was on the verge of death. I was about to die, and the only thing I could have done in this situation was try to loot up some stuff. Hopefully, one of these guys is gonna have something good for me, some healing items, so that I could patch up at least little bit otherwise I would most certainly be dead on the next bullet so I went on and looted all the bodies that were around here and there it was some healing not a lot but it was at least something so there was another dead player here as well which was kind of surprising, but okay. 
I pretty much scooped all the loot, healed as much as I could, and it was time to go for the extract because the next fight would have been fatal. So I went to the passage between rocks and I success successfully extracted. The next raid we finally take out our SVD and I went into the shoreline trying to get some kills because we still needed quite few of them to complete our quest. And in comparison to the last playthrough I decided to go shoreline and snipe with the SVD instead of clo going close range. So first raid we spawned at the village and I pushed immediately to the gas station. Nobody was there. So pretty much a boring raid. And as I was going for the extract since I didn't get anyone, the more action was actually waiting towards the end than I anticipated. I was about to cry. Oh. There was obviously more than one person shooting at me at this point. Oh, you want to throw grenades? Fine. Let's go. So I couldn't know for sure if I killed him or no. But his friend was still trying to shoot at me. So I was kind of pinned down to this hill. And I quick thought, you know what, let's try to flank this, because if they push me... I will pretty much die instantly, there's no way I can fight them off with an SVD. If there's more than one guy left, like two guys, which probably is, there's no way I'm gonna survive that. So I started pushing quite far back, so I could make a distance between me and those guys. Hopefully they wouldn't see me pushing back. I was using every possible dent in the ground, every, every low ground to hide myself so that they wouldn't see me. And so far, it seemed that I was not spotted yet. It would seem that they didn't know where I was. Now, I had to check the extract as well, because I'm not sure if they would go extract immediately, or are they going to camp me? So I waited here, just a few moments to see if they're going to push the extract or no, because clearly they were also going for the extract. And it seemed that they would not go for the extract just yet. Unfortunately, I was positioned this way, which wasn't actually really good because the hill in front of me is blocking my view. I can't see if they are still back there. Are they moving left, right? Where are they going? So I reloaded my mag and pushed a bit more forwards to see where those guys are, what are they doing, are they going back, are they going for the extract. And this was kind of good position, so the tree is whatsoever hiding my silhouette, and I could still look if they are somewhere over there. And there he was. So that was definitely one guy down. Oh, and his friend was right over there. Clueless of where I shot his friend, friend from, he was still looking for me at that hill where I was. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And so, I did manage to kill these two guys for sure. Now I was looking for the third guy because there was a lot of shooting going on. And I wasn't sure if I did kill him or didn't. So I couldn't push just like a psychopath inside, you know, guns blazing, Rambo style. No, no, no. We had to play this slow. 
So I went for even a further flank down the road to go all the way around the edge to get to the extract and try to see from extract point if I could see those guys, where they were, what were they doing, were they still alive or no. Because at this point pretty much was a lot of things were still uncertain. So I came to the extract point and I started pushing alongside of the wall. So I find one dead body and that was obviously the guy who I killed with a grenade. Which confirms the third kill. But I was still kind of worried that the third guy or the fourth guy or the fifth guy was still somewhere around here. I wasn't sure so I was kind of taking this very slow, silently. I didn't want to make a lot of noise. And there could also potentially be someone on the hill as well. So I was slowly pushing just to make sure that really everyone is dead and that I am clear to loot all the gear. At this situation, you need to take things very slow because you're playing alone and there's a lot of other people. But since no, I saw nobody, I heard no movement, I thought, okay, pretty much everybody's dead. And I found that guy as well. Now, when I saw his body, it was a lot of a relief for me because I knew, okay, this dude, this dude is dead, his friend is dead here with a grenade. I think there was three guys, so that pretty much meant that I am clear to loot them. And these guys were loaded. Oh, were they loaded or what? Just look at these items, just look at this. They obviously looted um, the resort. So, it was time to organize my inventory, grab as much of the gear as I can, but I would have to leave some of it behind because there was unfortunately no way for me to carry all that gear. I was already on 65 kilograms of weight and I still didn't loot this guy. But this guy wasn't as loaded as the previous two. He did have some items, so I had to grab everything that I could. I was very greedy when it comes to gear. And then I found the fourth guy on a hill, which I didn't kill, but obviously these guys killed him. So I just went to check what he had, but it would seem that he was already looted. So I went quickly back, grabbed my backpack, grabbed other stuff that I wanted, and started crawling towards the extract since I was so heavy that I literally lost stamina by walking. So yes, this raid ended up with a big fight at the extract and that was two more kills done with the SVD. So I loaded up quickly once again onto shoreline again with an SVD in hopes that I would catch some more players, get some more gear and finally be done with the quest. So this raid on shoreline, we actually spawned somewhere towards the extract till the end. And when I realized where I was, I thought, you know what? There's no point of pushing forwards when all the people are pretty much in the back. So I went for the radio tower immediately. So it's the smaller hill in hopes that I would catch somebody there. So at this point there was nobody to be seen here. I saw nobody crossing the field. So I rushed to the other hill with the radio tower. And I was hoping to find somebody crossing here. And there he was. But somebody pushed already on the hill. So I killed this guy, but he did wounded me. He wounded me quite bad. And I saw that guy in the distance, so I was like, okay, I need to heal up as quick as possible before that guy reaches the hill so I can fight him. 
but unfortunately I was too slow. The guy was already here. So yeah, obviously you take one shot from a shotgun and you're completely boned. Now that's really, really interesting. So one bullet does that much damage. I'm even wearing body armor and look at the damage that this dude has done to me with a single shot. So I had to pull back, heal up and wait up to see if he's gonna start searching this side of the hill because I knew he needed a close range and I was at an advantage if I fall back and sit in a bush to see where he's gonna come from. And so I saw him coming here. I probably gave him a solid shot there, but unfortunately I don't think I killed him. I had to heal up. I was critically wounded and if that guy shot me once again like that I would be dead. So yeah I pretty much used all of my IFAC and still I was again looking for this guy but I couldn't see him anywhere, I couldn't hear him anyway. So I thought okay maybe he went away, maybe he decided it's not worth it. Because he knew I was sniping and he needed a close range. So maybe he went for resort. I don't know. But I went my I went slowly and took my time to research the hill to see if he's still here or no. And as I was pushing for this body, there he was. Once again, one shot and I'm completely, completely red. Every limb is damaged, everything is damaged. So this blind shot thankfully killed the guy, but the problem was I had no more healing items. I had no bandage to stop the bleeding, I had nothing to heal myself. So after I saw him, I thought maybe he's laying down. But no, he was clearly dead. So I pushed for his body in hopes to find something to heal up, but he had nothing. This guy, the first guy that I killed, also had nothing. So, what do you do? You go to the first bush you see, and you dump all your gear inside it, because you know you're dead within seconds. And just as I was throwing out my SVD, I died. So, lucky but unlucky raid at the same time. I did get two kills with SVD, which was good, and I was hoping that nobody would find my body in that bush. Also, my gear was safe there, pretty much, if nobody found me. So, yeah, another SPD and another shoreline raid in hopes that I will get this quest done. So I spawned all the way far towards the extract. And I start pushing immediately for this small den, for these hills where the drone is. Because I knew that there would be player crossing somewhere around here. Potentially. And I wasn't wrong. I heard somebody running right in front of me. And you know what? I didn't care. I didn't care at all. My quest was finally done. Even though I died, I was done. This meant only one thing, ladies and gentlemen, and that is, Epsilon Container was ours. So we finally finished the Punisher. And yes, oh yes, the container was ours, it was time to transfer all the items inside and be done with this questline. This will wrap it up for this episode, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. In next episodes, we'll start doing some more PvP fights, solving other quests in order to get our sick container, which meant that we need to level up Jaeger. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, 
hit that notifications button to be notified when I push out the next video. I'll see you in the next one.